Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, I will explain you how to generate cross tab matrix report using Python and it's pretty easy and it will be very short lecture even. I don't think so it will be exceeding more than five minutes. So uh, let's start with. So the thing is everyone must be aware about pandas and also uh, I'm using Jupyter for that. If you don't use Jupyter, you can just have these commands in your Python file and you can use any ID, whatever you are using, PyCharm or anything, whatever you are using. So sorry uh, so you can use that for uh, your program so i will uh, the jupyter only helps me or you can say everyone just to see each step what it is doing so what i'm doing is i'm using one pand like pandas data uh, you can say library importing some data from a csv and this is the data so i have like ct date credit card type and x uh, expiry uh, what is that? i don't know like xp type and like gender and the amount so i want to generate a cross tab report which is a cross tab between gender date and the amount so the people who doesn't know what is cross tab the cross tab looks like something like this let me just show you an example so i will have a row header as male and female and i will see on which day what was the total sum of the you can say uh, the amount of, for all the transactions on that day so this is a cross tab report. So the main crux of it is like I can just do data dot group by and then I can just pass. So there are multiple columns. Just don't think so the lecture is over. There are multiple ways so I will show you and which one has a better required. Uh, you can say uses. I will also explain. So here I'm using data dot group by. So first I'm grouping by gender and date. So whatever group you want to group as a column a row header. So you will be keeping it in the forward. The last group will be used as a row head, a column header by default. And then I'm telling you which column to be sum. So I'll say amount dot sum and head I'm just saying like so that we can see outward else it will be very big uh, big output so it's saying that female on this day this is the total amount so this is the uh, second total amount for for the females for uh, 15th of april so this is the going forward so this is one of the best way easiest way of doing it so first you do group by amount sum and then you do unstack unstack so if you just do a group by and sum it will look like this but when you say unstack it convert into a cross tab report now one problem with this way of doing cross tab is you never get the totals at the bottom like i want to see what is the total of male and female at the bottom so for that so if if your requirement is just to generate this matrix so then it's very good you can just use this syntax but if you actually need the total of all these rows like with all these columns as well as this complete row at the end then you need to use a cross tab so cross tab is already a function available in pandas so i have used this pandas yeah, library so i will say pandas dot cross tab and then i will pass my column which I need to have a row header. The second column will be as a, you can say the series will be the, which I want to use it as a uh, column header. Then the values, so values will be amount as I'm summing that and aggregate function, which I'm using is the sum. So if you want to use mean and other thing, then you can use numpy functions. Uh, it doesn't matter whatever function you want to use. And then a margins equal to two. The moment I say margins equal to true. So here you can see the result is exactly the same. The only thing is there is a last row which is like all and which has a total of these two values for each day and if you scroll at the last and you have the row level total as well. So the cross tab reports are pretty good when you have to calculate margins along with the metrics. So it's very best. Now let's complicate it. So right now I want to see male and female, but also now I want to see which card type is there. So for that, I will what I will do is I will pass one more list and in that first I'm passing the gender, second I'm passing the credit card type and then I'm saying my column header will be date and then the values to be the amount if I just do it now. So here you can see, I can see the female for gold uh, card type, what is the total and what is the total at the bottom. So if you want to do a similar here, you just need to do, as I told you in the group by thing, you have to keep the last group, which will be a column header, else everything will become a row header and then the amount sum and then the function un, uh, unstack. So everything is same, there is nothing changed. So here again, the, uh, the calculations are exactly the same. The only thing missing part is here, it doesn't give you the margins, but cross tab do give the margins. So this is one of the shortest way of generating a cross tab report. Then you can just export that into a CSV or whatever you want to do. I hope this lecture would have helped you. If you have any questions, just uh, put your comments uh, below the video. I will help. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.